I'm T.I. Stecker, Command Sergeant Major, retired. Today on How To, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to give you the history of the assault rifle, where it came from, what it genesis into with the AK-47 AKM platform and the M16 AR-15 platforms. This is Military.com's How To. We're here again today on How To, my good friend, First Sergeant Retired Mike Cluck, C Troop Recon, 102nd Cav. And we're gonna go over the history of the granddaddy of all assault rifles, the MP44. This rifle came about because the Germans realized on the Russian front during World War II that they were outgunned. They needed something that wasn't as powerful as a full-size rifle cartridge, but something with a little more impact than a nine millimeter handgun that they carried in their Lugers and their P-38 and their MP-40 submachine guns. Henceforth, they shortened a the full-size 8mm rifle cartridge to a 7.92 by 33 an intermediate cartridge. And then what they did was they engineered the true first assault rifle, the MP-44. Machine and Pistola, Drei und Physik, the STG-44. It has all the modern features that we know today of an assault rifle. Short round, large capacity, 30 round magazine. It's gas operated with a tilting bolt. The sights are adjustable. We have a V-notch adjustable sight in the rear with a hooded blade sight up front. The rate of fire of this weapon is anywhere between 500 and 600 rounds per minute. The Sturmgewehr 44, the forefather of all modern day assault weapons. As a result of the action of the MP44 against the Russian military, a gentleman by the name of Mikhail Kalishnikov got a hold of one of these rifles, he reverse engineered it, and they came up with their version of the Sturmgewehr 44, which was the AK-47. The AK-47 fires a 7.62 by 39 cartridge, also known as the M43. Let's go to the ergonomics of this, what it looks like. The AK-47, from a distance, similarly looks like Sturmgewehr 44, does it not? Fires from a 30 round magazine. If you notice, it's kind of short. Why is it short? The Russians normally fight in cold weather, folks. That's why these stocks are so short. Bulky clothing, shorter stock, you get the understanding of it when you throw this up on your shoulder. It is also a gas operated, reciprocating bolt, rotating bolt action. Now, some of the shortcomings of the AK 47 or AKM platform. First off, bolt doesn't lock the rear when the last round's out, folks. That could be very devastating if you're engaged in a firefight. The other shortcoming is the short sight radius. Does not make for a very effective accuracy. On the other hand, the positives of this weapon, virtually indestructible. This rifle will operate and function without the receiver cover being even on. It'll cycle. You can take parts out of an AKM manufactured in Romania and throw it in a North Korean manufactured AK, and the magazines coming out of an East German manufactured AK will fit in any of the weapons platforms that have the AK type frame. They're gonna work. But again, it's father, Sturmgewehr 44. Because of the impact of the MP44 and the AK-47 on a modern battlefield, the AR-15 platform came to be. Now, looking at it, immediately the difference is this rifle's a little longer. It's got a full length stock on it. The sights are a little higher than what we're normally used to seeing in an American bred weapon. This rifle fires a 5.56 by 45 millimeter cartridge. The rifle is a gas operated, gas impingement rotating bolt system. High rate of fire comes out at about a little over 3,000 feet per second. Very effective, but you gotta keep it clean. Now we're gonna show you some of the direct features that came from the Sturmgewehr 44 and were incorporated with the AR-15 M16 platform. First one is the break open takedown of the rifle. What this does is it lets the individual soldier immediately take the weapon apart for cleaning purposes and make sure all the parts are in good working order. And then all you have to do is put the bolt carrier group, charge the handle back in, lock it up, secure it. 
to a system check on it and you're ready to go. Another point is the dust cover. Simple little device run by a little bitty spring. But what it does is it keeps the action free of all outside debris. Will it keep it all the way out? No, but it'll keep it operational for you. This was absolutely phenomenal. He engineered in the 1940s for them to think about doing something like that. Now, when you compare the reliability from the M16 platform to the AK-47 platform, the reason this gun runs and operates the way it does is because it's very loosely built. This is why you can bury it in mud, you can drop it in sand, you can bury it in snow, water, it does not matter. As long as the barrel and the chamber are clear, you've got a working magazine, this gun will fire. What we were able to display today is the history of the assault rifle. It's Genesis in 1943 on a Russian front. The evolution of it to Russia in the late 40s, early 50s, and then furthermore to the gradual engineering into the AR M16 platform for the United States. They both have their positives, they both have their drawbacks, but it's up to the individual to be efficient and effective with whatever platform they're out there utilizing. I'm T.S. Decker, this is Military.com's How To.